Hey folks, welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. Boy, the line dancing between what you can report on and what you can't report on is getting so dicey. So I'm not going to use any of these buzzwords, but just please take a look at the screens about what they're planning on. Here it is, more coming our way. They're just going to keep doing that. It's all part of the game for a lockdown that's happening faster and faster and faster. So it's going to continue. It's going to put more pressure on the educators. It's going to put more pressure on people to do something about it. And they're just going to keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And so it gets to the point where our freedoms are completely gone and everybody's going to wonder what happened. Well, we know what's happening. We are seeing what's happening, yet very few people are stepping up to the plate to do anything about it. Uh, it's all a bunch of lies, it's all a bunch of propaganda, and it's all a bunch of fear-mongering to take away what rights we have left. 9-11 began it with the anthrax scares right after that was made in Fort Dugaway in um, Salt, uh, Salt Lake City and then from Fort Detrick, um, and that was supposedly blamed on the Islamics, but it's found out that it was by the U.S. government that released the anthrax to get the Patriot Act reported because Tom Daschle and Leahy, the senior Democrats at the time would not agree with Cheney's 3,000 pages of the Patriot Act. And just read this, folks. I can't say anything about it because it may hit a logarithm or something, but read what that says. See how the game works? It's all a lie. Everything is a lie that they're being foisted on, but the public does have little criminal, uh, critical dissemination. So we will and we can. Take the firearms first and then go to court. We have to do something very decisive. Number one, you can take the guns away immediately from people that you can judge easily are mentally ill, like this guy. You know, the, the police saw that he was the problem. They didn't take any guns away. Now, that could have been policing. I think they should have taken them away anyway whether they had the right or not. A lot of times, by the time you go to court, it takes so long to go to court to get the due process procedures. Uh, I like taking the guns early, like in this crazy man's case that just took place in Florida. But take the guns first, go through due process second. Hi, I'm Dr. Duke, and this is Right Makes Might. Well, from the file of I Told You So, and man, is that getting to be a long and depressing I Told You So. We have news out of California that the California legislature is now considering a piece of law that will assume, basically, that homeschool parents are child abusers. Uh, this law, if it passes, is going to force uh, moms and dads who homeschool their kids a, a right, a legal right, a God-given right, a common sense right to choose school choice to educate your own kids. That will be treated as if it was a kind of child abuse in the sense that the state will compel a state agents into the home to meet with families, including child service welfare experts, will come to the home uh, because the premise is going to be that there is something uh, fishy or abusive or coercive about homeschool education. This is a remarkable development. It's one that we could have seen coming, though, as, as, as the more pressure we put kids uh, to get into public schools, the more we force them to take certain kind of tests, the more collectivizing education becomes under things like Common Core and the Every Student Succeeds Act. As more of that happens, more control over our public school kids, the less freedom, the greater the attack on homeschooling. According to the Washington Examiner newspaper, this proposed California law will change the valid legal option of homeschooling from a fundamental parental right to a compelled consent to government intrusion upon the privacy of the home and of the school, of school choice. And what's really remarkable about this is it's a reaction to the Turpin case. You may remember the Turpin family in California uh, for years and years and years kept their kids home from school and then tortured and abused and held them hostage. Uh, and so, of course, as is typically the California way, 
we're going to react very violently against that. But here's the thing. The Washington Examiner also did a serious investigation, and I've looked into this too. All the major, major psychological websites, all the major psychiatric statements about education and dangers to children, not one of them, not one mentions homeschool as a potentially abusive circumstance. Or, and we have no evidence, no statistical evidence whatsoever that homeschool families are more likely to abuse their kids than traditional families who keep their kids in public schools. There's not a shred of evidence for that. And so what do we get? Such knee-jerk and irrational solutions to a statistically unfounded problem allows unprecedented levels of government intervention into family privacy and choice, all under, again, the demonstrably false pretext that homeschool choice infers that parents are more likely to be child abusers. Well, here's the thing. You're going to pass a law like that. We have all sorts of examples beyond the Turpins of California school teachers sleeping with their children, adult men having affairs with their young female students, and an alarming number of adult male uh, female teachers who are messing around with their male students. We have all sorts of examples documentable of bullying, of abuse in the classroom that leads directly to suicide in a number of these public school kids. If we're going to play this game, let's play it. For every one Turpin, there are thousands of cases of abuse, of neglect, of bullying of censoring, of, of driving kids to distraction in public schools. Let's have the same law. Let's let parent groups, let's let parents' rights groups, let's let the HSLDA, the Homeschool Legal Defense Association, into the house once a year of every public school mom and dad to make sure they are not abusing their kids in the ways that are utterly contrary to American education, freedom, and liberty. I'll bet you this. If we allow concerned and responsible parents' groups to interview public school moms and dads, you're going to end up finding a a lot more genuine abuse than you're going to get by coming after homeschool kids. If you enjoyed that. So to continue uh, to give you an eye on our continuing uh, enslavement in the uh, boiling frog scenario that we're seeing now being rapidly ramped up, I've been following the national ID. Uh, they're already in at least five states and uh, they have biometrics attached to them and it won't be long before you'll be having to use these to access your bank accounts. Uh, you'll have to have show that you've been uh, vaccinated um, and they can control you through these biometric IDs, which very soon will be in installed inside your arm or in some other fashion where you will not even need to carry anything. Uh, we'll get into wetware, what wetware is all about later. But this whole uh, bill was just rammed through in this 400 page behemoth DACA document. You know, it's all for show when they start talking about immigration, they're doing something else. Uh, the walls are going up to keep us in, folks, not to keep us out. H.R. 4760 establishes a mandatory national identif identification system. Mandatory. You do not have a choice, folks. You must get biometric IDs. So they started getting you comfortable with getting in line and cutting lines at airports if you got the biometric ID, and now they're going to shove it down everybody's throats. Uh, this bill is wholeheartedly supported by the anti-immigration and 70 sponsors. It's going to pass, according to Ron Paul. Under the status national ID, you'd be forced to carry on your ID tied to this massive database, fingerprints, retina scans. Without this ID, you won't be able to hold a job or likely even open a bank account or board a plane. Pa Paul said there's a very good chance it'll become law supports overwhelming. Uh, it'll allow federal bureaucrats to include biometric identification, even fingerprints, scans, scans of veins on the back of your hands, which could easily be used as a tracking device. Be required for all U.S. workers, regardless of place of birth, making it illegal for anyone to hold a job in the United States who doesn't obtain an ID card. It will require all employers to person an ID scanner to verify the ID cards with the federal government. Every time any citizen applies for the job, the government would know, and you can bet it's only a matter of time until ID scans will be required to make even routine purchases as well. No doubt this is their plan stated. And they're going to use a vac. Trust me, they're going to use a vac vaccine scare. They're coming out with a universal vaccine, folks, if you're not scared enough already about vaccines. But this is on the agenda, and we got to fight back. we got to say no. And if that means not getting on a plane, you don't get on a plane. If that means growing your own food, then you grow your own food. Get in your communities, folks, because we have to say no to this, because this is Big Brother, this is enslavement, and soon we will not have a choice. Like they're saying, we don't have a choice whether we can vaccinate our child. It's not my child, my choice. We can't homeschool our child anymore. We can't own a gun anymore. Do you see where this is going, folks? I hope you're waking up because all you pacifists and, and whatnot who just say, oh, well, the government's going to fix it or Trump's, you know, going to make it better or Hillary's going to make it better. 
<laughs> they're all on the same team. They make no difference. They're just following the agenda. They're of the pu they're puppets to the puppet masters, the real ones who are running the show. And if you want to know who is running the show, it's the ones who wear the men in black. It's the boys in the Vatican. It's the Jesuits. It's Pope uh, Francis, the first Jesuit pope in 600 years, is trying to canonize this brutal, brutal man <laughs> who came in and just slaughtered the Native American in in Indians under pretense of helping them. Father Juniper Cerro, the Native Americans rebelled on two occasions. They were put down in brutal fashion. This is how the West was conquered. Let's teach true history to our people, to our children, folks. This is canonized now in the wake of the 1998 papal document, giving him sainthood uh, and not paying any attention to the slaughter that he did, especially out here in the West, by establishing all the missions. But Pope Francis, the Jesuit, is going to canonize this guy and tell him what a great guy he was, and it's not even open to debate. So this is what we're dealing with. So in wrapping up here, uh, my son was on this video game the other day and started talking about having this tattoo on his arm where he could see all the different codes and all the different uh, 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 weapons and targets and other things that he had. I said, what are you talking about? And here's this video screen and they have an arm tattoo that they're showing in my son's videos here, showing them how they're using these uh, biometric IDs in their arms for their passwords, for their abilities to keep track of all the different things in play in these games and whatnot, and it's very clearly showing in these video games. It's predictive programming. They set it in the subliminal messaging. The kids all get used to having, you know, putting everything in their arm, on their arm, to put it in, go ahead, just like Nest and Alexa, go into your homes and eavesdrop and take pictures. It really doesn't matter, folks, and this is how they program you to accept these devices, these enslavement devices. So really monitor what your children are doing. I had no idea until he mentioned it to me, but this is going on, and it's being brought about so the next generation will accept their servitude and not question a thing. So this is all I got for today. I'm going to do an info dump with a bunch more stuff in the next vid doc, but thank you all for listening. Plain truth out. Peace and love one another.